Hello everyone, Melody here, Mama of Four in our blended family of six, and today we are going to talk about math curriculum. Not my children's favorite subject, but one of mine. Over the years, I have tried a variety of math curriculums. Originally, we tried Saxon math, and then we tried Horizon math, and I don't even remember what we did after that. We switched to another math curriculum, which I don't remember the name of, that tells you how impressed I was by it, and for one year, my children even participated in a math class at the local public school and used their math, which was Maybe I should find a different phrase for that. It was not good. So finally, I settled on Math Mammoth. Today I'm going to review Math Mammoth. What I have here is the sixth grade level. Well, it says fifth grade test on the front. What I have here is the sixth grade level Math Mammoth. And I'm gonna get into each of these books. Before I start on that, I will tell you I've used Math Mammoth for two or three years now. And I like it as a parent. I love that it is both linear and cyclical. It goes over the same materials over and over and over again to help reinforce it. And it hits each topic in depth before moving on to a new topic. I love that it's direct and it has the information the kids need. However, my children don't like it. So we're not sticking with this curriculum for next year. We are moving on to a totally new math curriculum, Math Beast for the Bean Bean. And if the bookworm homeschools with us next year, rather than attending public school, she will be doing the Art of Problem Solving Pre-Algebra. When I get those materials, I'll give you a preview of them. But I still wanted to give you a review of Math Mammoth so that if it looked like something that would work for you, you would have an idea of what you were getting. Okay, so here we have the grade six. I've got work text A, work text B, the answer key, and then you can see this is the grade five test and cumul cumulative reviews. I'm just using this as a sample, the grade six, grade four, grade three, they all look the same, and I wanted to use materials that hadn't been written in by my children yet. Okay. We did grade five this year and the work text had been written in. I had these left over from when Skippy was with us. We had started using this and then went to a different level. So you can see it tells you on the front of each what topics you're covering, review of basic operations, expressions and equations, decimals, ratios, percent. All of this material is done by Maria Miller. If you open the book, the first thing you have is the table of contents telling you exactly what each chapter is covering and what the names of the different lessons are within the chapters. And then a forward, just a note from Maria Miller. Next, when the beginning of each chapter, they have this introduction section. It has helpful resources on the internet that you can look up the web pages to try and get, sometimes there's more games or additional lessons. I have not used this section very often, and when I have used this section, more often than not, I've been disappointed by the materials I find, or I'll type in the website and it won't exist anymore. So that wasn't super helpful. But she does have, if you go to the Math Mammoth page, then she does have video lessons of her giving a lesson for each section. I was not super impressed by those lessons. They were definitely informative, but they were very, very dry. My children were not interested in them. This is the very beginning of sixth grade. So we've got some review of things they should have already learned. So they have the lesson and then an opportunity for them to practice what they just learned. If we go to the end of the chapter, you have a chapter review at each one. All right, so if we skip to the end of chapter five, 
There's a mixed review and it will cover everything that was covered in this book from beginning to end. And then it'll just have a basic review of the chapter itself and what you covered. It's not complicated. It's not, you can get a colored version. I did get a colored version in the fifth grade, but all the differences is some of these sections here have like a light blue or a light green color to them. There are no images or pictures that make it more appealing. It really is just straight math, which again, I really like. It is thorough. I feel like it teaches math really well. It shows multiple methods of doing a problem so that your child can see the different options for solving a problem and then they can have the opportunity to choose what works best for them because we know all kids learn differently. That is book A. If you look, book B is structured pretty much in the exact same way. This one covers factoring, fractions, integers, geometry, and statistics. You'll notice it says light blue series here. If you do it by subject rather than by grade, they're color coded so the books are a different color. I'm just going to open this up randomly to chapter 7. We've got fractions. You can see there are some resources here that you can use for this chapter and lessons on the video lessons that Marie shows online and then it just jumps right on in. You've got the example, an explanation of what needs to happen and then lots and lots of practice opportunities. I found at this point I just have my kids do every other one or sometimes I'll do some with them just to make sure that they understand the material well. Each level comes with an answer key. You can buy these books individually on Amazon. They're pretty cheap. They've ranged from $15 per book to about $22 per book, depending on what I'm looking for. So I do like the price for the curriculum. And then this is, there's the color that I was talking about. So when it, you buy the colorful one, it's a more expensive book, but this is about it for color. It just adds a little bit of pop, which I guess is nice, but it's not quite what I was hoping for. And you can just go through here and it will show you the answers to every problem so that you can check them quickly and efficiently. It also gives you the answers to tests and cumulative review. So if you find that book A and B don't quite get it in depth enough on the materials, there are other books you can get to go along with it to cover the materials more, give your child more time to practice. And I got this to test the kids on each level and I ended up never, well, nope, that's not true. We did use it once, here we go. I ended up not using it just because they wanted to move on and I didn't really feel the need to test them. Okay, so that was a brief review of Math Mammoth Grade 6. As a reminder, it comes in multiple books. We have Book A, Book B, we have the answer keys for all of the books. And I showed you an example here of an extra book you can get tests and cumulative review. Obviously this is the fifth grade, but they are all structured in the same way. So that should give you an idea of what you're looking for. They do have other structures to their books. If you wanted to just study by subject, you can do it that way. If you get online at um, their website, then you will see they have um, assessments that you can print off and give to your children to decide what level they should be in. I would really encourage you to take those assessments and see where your child is so that you can get the appropriate level. I hope this review was helpful for you and answered some of your questions. As always, take a minute to like and subscribe to our channel so you can follow along with us as we do curriculum reviews, a uh, day in the life and just general homeschool family stuff. If you have any questions, let me know. Until next time, have a good one.